Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, we will see how we can uh, trigger a step function through event bridge uh, based on event. So here I'm gonna use the event from S3. Uh, let's see how uh, how we can trigger a step function through a event from S3. Uh, right now I am in uh, AWS portal. I'm gonna create a bucket for this to create the event. So my bucket name is something like event trigger bucket bucket and I'm gonna use the default everything as it is. I'm gonna create a bucket here. So once the bucket is created, just click that but bucket and go to the properties. Under that, you will have something called event trigger, event notification, and then you have Amazon event bridge. So click on edit this one and make the notification as on here. So whenever event happens in this bucket, this is gonna send the events to the event bridge. I'm gonna copy this bucket name here. Uh, this is I need to configure in my event bridge. So I'm just copy this one. So this is successfully done. So I'm gonna move into event bridge. So right now I'm in event bridge uh, service. I'm gonna click create rule for this one. Click create rule. This I'm gonna give a rule here. Something like trigger run. keep this uh, run with a event pattern like okay, remaining things I'm going to keep as it is and the rule type I'm, I'm choosing is a rule with an event pattern click on next so in the event source I'm going to choose event sources AWS events or event bridge partner events and sample event options I'm going to keep it as it is so, so next I need to provide the event pattern so my event pattern is from S3 so I just need to choose S3 here simple storage service S3 event type I need to choose uh, Amazon S3 event notification so here I need to provide the uh, any events uh, I need to provide in bucket I need to this bucket name here so this is my bucket name so whenever anything is placed in this bucket I need to trigger I need to trigger the event bridge uh, step function click on next so here I'm going to use this target as AWS service my I'm going to use this step function here the function machine and the state machine as a map machine um, for my step function map I need to pass a parameter so here I need to provide a parameter in the actual settings so in the actual settings uh, I should use a constant JSON text where I have to use uh, provide, the, provide my parameters so this is the parameter I'm going to pass it to my uh, map task so I am providing my uh, JSON file, JSON input here. Click on next. Click on next. View everything and then click create rule. So now my rule has been created now, which is enabled now. So now quick, I quickly go into this um, three and place my file. I opened S3 so my bucket name is even trigger bucket so I'm gonna just upload some file here any just some file here just any file I'm just using some file here just so my file I just place the file here let me see whether my step function got triggered now what I configured now so yeah if you see here now it got triggered if you want to try one more time I'll just show it off we have only one run one run for 18th next I'll run, put another file the same file I'm gonna put again and see what happens now So 
the route is running now. Route is running. Yes, I have succeeded. Yeah, then this way, if you want to send an event from uh, uh, from S3 to S2 function and trigger using when bits, you can use this one. So in this example, I have used uh, uh, S3 as a source for my event, which is which gonna send uh, event to my event bridge which in turn gonna run my step function in this way you can uh, schedule a step function based on event that's it for this video thanks for watching